Our next example is going to generalize some of the things we saw in Kirchhoff's laws to internet traffic flow. Let's say that you have a, a network that has data flowing over it, some sort of internet traffic, packets, things like that. And there are a bunch of nodes or routers at which data can get split apart. On each edge, on each wire, you have some flow rate. Let's call that xi. In this case, we have x1, x2, x3, x4, x5. And then at these routers, at these nodes where there's branching, the net data flow rate in has to equal the net data flow rate out. So for example, if you look at that blue node at the top, what wires are coming in? It has flow rate x1. What wires are going out? Those have flow rates x3 and x4. So x1 equals x3 plus x4. Net in equals net out. Do the same thing at the purple node, and you're going to get x2 plus x3 equals x5 going out. Now at the green node on the left, it's assumed that this is something like a, a source where there's some constant flow rate f coming in, and that gets split by the router into x1 plus x2. On the right, you have uh, something like a target, something where all of the data finally goes into. And of course, that net output by conservation is going to be f again. So x4 plus x5 equals f. Now, in the end, what we have is a system of four equations, five unknowns, x1, x2, x3, x4, x5. All of the coefficients in the matrix A are obtained by moving everything from the right-hand side over to the left-hand side, except for those constants f, which we're going we're gonna to move those over to the right, so that, again, we have something in the form ax equals b. In this case, no unique solution, because traffic can be routed in many different ways. That's traffic flow.